Hello everyone, welcome to my channel AnyLearn Nepal. This is the tutorial of Photon Programming Language. Let's start our tutorial with a comment. Comment is a very useful tool to any programmer. It's like an important note to a code which compiler ignores while compiling but help us to understand the code if, if written carefully. To start writing a comment in a Photon, type exclamation mark followed by the comment. So this is a comment. You can add more comment if you like. This is another comment. Okay. You can write co uh, comment even after a code statement. Okay. I will write one comment. Value of is n integer. Okay. We will be using comment throughout the tutorial. Okay. Let's talk about the range and precision of a number. I have made my text editor and terminal ready side by side. Okay, you can do that and follow my tutorial. So we will study two topics for now: uh, range and precision. Now let's start writing a program. Uh, give any name. I'll give example. Okay, and end program. And you must write implicit none at first. Remember that. Okay. Now I will create one variable that can store integer value. So I'll write integer, and I'll give the variable name. You can give any name. I'll give bar. Okay. So bar is a variable that can store integer value. Now question arises: What is the range of that bar? That means what's the greatest integer that can be stored in the variable bar or what's the lowest integer that can be stored in the variable bar so for that there is a built-in function in photon programming language that shows us the range of the integer so let me use that built-in function use and always functions are followed by the parenthesis so use is a function and inside that parenthesis we have to write our variable name so variable name is bar now if we run this first let's compile g fortran uh, file name is variable dot f95 okay it's compiled and dot slash added out okay now you can see the number here this is the maximum value of integer that can be stored in the variable bar and negative of this number is the lowest integer so what if we try to store value greater than this okay now i will give the variable bar to store a value greater than that number so 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 4 7 okay i will give 8 just one unit more than that okay and i will tell to display the value of that variable so to display we have to use the print function and give a name of the variable so in my case bar is my variable so let me save and run it okay it says error the error is integer too big for its kind so it is saying it is out of the range so if we give value 7 there then obviously it will display the value but uh, while dealing with the problems we might have to store value greater than that so there is a way and that's called specifier kind so i will give that in a comment So I will give kind eight. Okay. I want to display the use function use and I will give R. Okay. Now let's see. Now it is showing very big number than the previous one we just put kind is equals to 8 that means number of bytes for the memory 
to allocate for the ink value. So, if I give uh, kind equals to 8 that means I give 8 bytes of memory for the variable var and it can store greater number than the previous one. So, I can change the 8 to a 16 and see if it can store greater than that. Okay, now you can see the use number by giving the kind equals to 16. Now, let me show you one example with all of that. I have used all available kind that is 2, 4, 8 and 16 and in the variable bar 1 I have not used any kind specifier and in other variables I have used kind specifier. So, let me run this and we will discuss about this. Okay. Okay. I did one mistake. So, there is an error. It says bar has no implicit type that means this bar is not declared and compile again then it runs successfully now you can see bar 1 that is bar 1 is just an integer and that is the range if we give kind equals to 2 bar 2 range is this very small so, if we are dealing with the small number, then we can write kind equals to 2 specifier so that it allocates small memory for the part 2. Let us see the use range bar 5. So, that is the highest range. So, in this way, you can check the range of the integer and the use as per your problem. Now, let us talk about the precision in a real number. I will delete this all and we will start from the beginning. Okay. Precision check in real numbers. Basically, real numbers are float. We call float in a computer term. Uh, float actually means the decimal value. This real number is must used data type in the numerical computing. Okay, and uh, so let me use one real variable. So I will write real and I will use pi. And uh, I have to give the value to the pi variable. Uh, so pi is 22 divided by 7. So it is the mathematical operation. Uh, the for, for forward slash is the divide sign. But here is the problem 22 is an integer and 7 is also integer. So, both are integer and the integer divided by another integer gives the integer value, but pi is decimal value. So, what we can do is 22.0 divided by 7.0. Now, 7.0 is a real, 22.0 is a real and the real divided by another real gives the real value. Okay, now, let print out this value. So, print function and variable name pi. So, this is very simple program. First, we have to declare a variable uh, pi as a real. Then, we have to give the value to the variable pi. We give the value and we give the mathematical operation to be carried out. And we have to print the variable value. So, simple program. Now, let me run this g4 and variable dot f95 and dot slash a dot out. Okay, now it gives the result of it gives the value of pi 3.1428507. So, what if we want more decimal values than this? So, it has only 8 decimal place. So, what if we want more? In older versions, there was one way using a double precision instead of real. Okay, see. It gives the value of pi, but in more significant digits. Now, we have a kind specifier in the integer to check the range. Like that, kind also works in a real. So, I will write real 
and instead of double precision i will i will give the kind specifier i will give it here now if we check the same value as a double precision this is the value given by the double precision this is value given by kind equals to 8 specifier so both are same here so kind has better control over it now what if we use instead of 8 we write 16 then oh sorry 16 oh 16 now okay okay now we get more values after that so in this way we can control over our precision and remember in integer we can use kind equals to 2 also but in the real we can't use kind equals to 2 we have 4 8 and 16 variables are dynamic in any programming language that means we can update the variable so let me use one example where we give one value to the variable at the beginning then we change the value of that variable so uh, we first thing program program and i'll write example and in program at last then implicit non as usual i will store integer value to the variable uh, a okay now i will give a value as 6 Now if I run this, it will surely give me the value 6. Now first I give a equals to 6. Now I want to change the value of that variable and I will give 5 multiply 6. So now let's check what it will give out. It gives 30. Computer read step by step. In the line 4, it is it create a variable a that can store integer value. And it gives value 6 to that integer now it updates the value now while displaying the old value is already out so it gives the new value 5 into 6 so this is called updating the variable so we can update the variable as the way we want we might have to start the variable value with something and later on we have to change with something but what if that value is constant forever in the one program for that while declaring the variable write the parameter keyword it makes the value of that variable unchangeable after giving the parameter we must give the value on the same place g photon and if we run it it says okay so remember if you want a constant value to any variable give the parameter keyword while declaring and give the value on the same place so this way you can make the constant okay this much for this video if you have any question write down in the comment section below and we will continue in the next video